Okay, so we have our mounting plates done. This is for the uh, pack out plate right there. And you can see on this one, just gonna go right along that crossbar and then we're gonna drop a quarter 20 bolt right there. So uh, let's get it all attached. All right, so we got it mounted here. Now, these are I think 45 millimeter screws. I probably could have gone with a 40, but I didn't have any on hand. But you can see that the plate sits right on top of the shock tower. So it's spreading the force out of the full assembly once we get it all in place. All right, so we got both sides on here. These are uh, metric M3s, because I use metric in just about everything I can. But this ended up being a quarter 20 half inch just because that's what I can get local. <clears throat> and then we run that through the top of this mounting plate. We got our different spots here, and now we've got a fixed hard connection for that pack out. Now, we take our pack out box, just like so. There we go. Now, another interesting thing that <clears throat> I, every one of these I build, I have to make this little piece that goes in the shock here. And what that does is it limits your shock travel because if you don't have that, let me show you on the back side. If you don't have that on this X-Max, you can actually bottom it all the way out. And I, I don't want that. So, I made this little 30 millimeter spacer. This is made of TPU and it limits that travel. So, it's not going to go any lower than, say, two inches. But I'm still going to have my suspension. I'm just going to be limited as to how far down it'll go. Anyway, guys... That's where we are. Next thing up is going to be the uh, the M18 battery mounts, wiring, headlights, all kinds of stuff. I'm thinking about putting little alert amber flashers on all four corners like you see on my uh, V5 rig. Coming together. <laughs>